what is up people how's it going this is Bharat and welcome back to yet another video in this one i'm going to be showing you guys how you can track this orange right here it's going to be a very simple application but you're going to be using the open cv and you're going to be mixing it with a kiwi md application and trying to see how you can track any colored ball in your video so that's what we're going to be seeing let's get the video started straight away before we begin a quick note from our sponsor an academy are you a student or a working professional who's looking for a great career in software development Check out anacademy.com slash course slash career as a software developer and you'll be taken to this link. All you need to do is just check out all the upcoming live classes that are being taken by top educators in their industry. They will walk you through their in own industry experience and interact with a lot of guests like HR and industry leaders of top companies where they will answer all of the questions that are raised by you. In live episodes, you get an opportunity to ask tech HRs about top 20 interview questions on industry leaders directly about their recruitment process in startups and MNC, what's the eligibility and how to apply and how they build such great products. Not only this, you can participate in mock interviews and learn courses on programming languages, cloud computing, blockchain and crypto, tech aspects of digital marketing and data analytics. One of the upcoming shows for this weekend is Anurag Gurk's Accelerating Development. Have you ever thought about all these frontline applications like Zomato, Paytm, GPay, Amazon and how these thought processes are going to be working in first place? In this show, Anuj will discuss the architecture breakdown of popular applications. Learners will get to see how these apps are made and how these apps work. And this is not something you find on YouTube on an everyday basis, right? You do not need to shell out a lot of money to get the subscription. You will need to spend 999 per year or 83 rupees per month. Or if you choose to use my promo code, which is CoderMonk, you'll get 10% off the subscription and just spend only 75 bucks per month. All the links that are discussed here are in the description below. Check them out and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below as well. All right, so this is what we're going to be leaving in this previous video. We left it around here. And this is something that I've been doing for so long. Like we have this base template application that I've already talked about in my first video of this series. So if you do not know what exactly uh, all this code here does, uh, check my first video out. It's a very simple application, basically has a simple image on the top and it's just loading the video that we have. Uh, it's going to be loading a real time video from my laptop camera right here. And it's going to show you guys everything that is going to happen. What specifically you're going to be doing is to adapt the code from Adrian Rosbrock, who's from the PyImage Search, a very famous website for all the open CV data application. We're just going to adapt the code from there to fix it into our QVMD application. That's all we are going to be doing. So to begin with, what we need in, in order to start is to have an understanding of how these frames get processed. The first thing we need to do is just understand that we need to have a frame and the frame is going to now just converted into an HSV image. So we already know how to do that using the CVT color. And from that on, it's just going to be finding out the ball itself in this example it's an orange i have i don't have any ball so what i'm going to do is just try to find out where this ball is so this ball is in orange in color right so we need to do is just un put a mask around everything that is not orange and it'll get the point location of this ball from there on all we need to do is just track where this ball is moving and update it on our image and there we go we have the ball tracker this can be adapted into any colored ball and this is also one of the famous ways where the uh, cricket ball tracking works. So if you guys have any questions on that, you can drop that in the comment section. I'll be very happy to answer more on that. So let's get moving on. First, we need to do is just understand that the frame needs to be processed. So what I'm going to do is just uh, create a blurred image using the CV2.Gaussian. Uh, Gaussian blur is what you're going to be doing. Um, sorry, Gaussian blur. And we're just going to convert the frame and blur it as 11 comma 11 and i've talked about glass gaussian blurs in my previous videos as well so uh, that's pretty much straightforward next step you're going to do is to understand or do a hsv conversion the hsv conversion make sure to remove all the bgr information to the hsv format so it's easier to track a colored ball like this and it's also removing most of the noise out of this picture so we do not want to have a background information and a foreground information that is almost of the same color if i'm going to track an orange ball my recommendation is to not be an orange background so similarly for any other colors so just convert in cv2 dot and just do a cv2 dot cvt color to just convert it just say cvt color and we'll just say blurred convert the blurred image and just say cv2 dot color bgr to hsv to hsv all right so bg hsv conversion is done and now we are going to be 
uh, defining what is the color range that you want to track so this orange color is bright here i want to know the rgb patterns rgb values and i'll just be creating a dummy variable for that so i'm just going to have a lower end and upper end and i'm just going to see whatever color is matching in that region just track it so that's what you're going to be doing you just say uh, color lower is equal to we're just going to have a simple basically an rgb set so just my numbers are 29 86 and six so i've just tested it out before starting this video so uh, there is not no magic numbers right here the next one is color upper so you just have to test it out whatever finds suitable for you you just use it 64 uh, 255 and 255 so this is representing the rgb values in this example it's an hsv value all right so let's move on from here next is to create the mask like i said so mask is equal to cv2 dot just going to find all the color patterns that are in range we already have the in uh, lower and upper value of the hsv so just say color lower and color upper great right very simple at this point of time the mask should next be um, probably eroded so we don't have any more noise present so just say cv2 dot erode say mask none and the iterations you can fix it at two or three uh, i found three to be much more accurate next thing you can do is obviously again dilate the mask and this these are additional steps that are might like that might be useful for you if you want to track it to the point but i found out without even dilation and erosion uh, it still works pretty fine so I'll just give it a three as well here next is the step where you find the contour the contour is basically a round object that is present here you need to find where the round object is let's say that i have a very flat phone this is my phone right here i'm using an iphone 7 and let's say this i want to track this orange color that's right here I cannot do that because uh, I'm just going to be finding a contour. Contours are applicable for uh, circular objects. So you can define what is a circular object that you want and that's how you find the contour. So just say uh, the contours is equal to uh, is equal to cv2 dot find the contour and you just have to say the mask. You cannot just directly say the mask, just send a copy of the mask and just say cv2 dot rt external and cv2 dot chain approx right same approx simple so these are just application and algorithms to do the contours and i'm just using the simplest algorithms that is out there all right so we have so far done the um see contours done you found the contour just next step is to use the im utils and grab all these contours contours will come out in the form of an uh, array so just you know, grab this contour arrays points and then try to plot it on the image again so just say contours is equal to i already have the im utils installed we already did this in a lot of videos previously so i'm not going to be going into that in depth let's say grab contours and pass the variable contour so there we go we have the points where the contours are present at this point of time and what, what do we do to them? just plot these points onto our image and there we go we have tracked the ball successfully the next step is to just check if the length of the contour is e greater than uh, zero that means the contour is present we don't want to send enter it with an empty contour and then now just do a sorted application on this is contour points is equal to sorted we'll just sort the contours in such a way that it's going to be contour contour area so that's that you go just have the contour area we have passed the key as well and just say reverse is equal to true so all this step is to just sort our array uh, so that we have a defined definitive point of every single circle and i'm just going to find all the circles and draw a circle with that so just every single point of the contour has been identified right now and we just need to uh, just do a circle on top of it so just define the rectangle space where this is going to be present so ip in 32 these are again use these are again things that you have already seen previously so uh, nothing complex is that's being done right now only thing we are doing is just to process the image and just getting our contour points so cv2 dot uh, min area rectangle yeah that's pretty much it and the contour point great right so we have done the contour points you have identified the rectangle where this contour point is there what do we do now just draw a circle with it onto our frame and we are pretty much done circle 
and the frame is where we're going to be drawing the image we can either do it on frame or self dot frame image frame anything is okay just do it on the frame itself and now it's time to just process or draw a rectangle a circle around it right so the rectangular point uh, zero of zero and this is the logic for that plus we'll just draw it of rectangle minus one of zero I'll quickly write all of these points and I'll tell you guys how this works out. All right, so I've quickly drawn the rectangular points and what exactly I'm doing is on the frame and just taking the zero of zero of the rectangle, the starting point of the rectangle to the ending point of the rectangle and I'm just subtracting from the length, I'm finding the length and the width and I'm just using that as the radius of my uh, rectangle radius of my point uh, circle so basically if it is a very perfect circle this is not a perfect circle this is more of an ellipse so I know know that the point from left to right is here and just subtracting it by two for the radius and the height I'm just taking it and subtract uh, dividing it by two for the um, the diameter so this is not this is not a perfect if it's a perfect cycle the circle the uh, first value and the second value will be equal but if it's not a perfect uh, circular ball it might be looking like an ellipse so you have the height and the radius for that that's pretty much it you have drawn a circle uh, using or uh, the thickness of 25 and you can just even increase it if you want and just using the color green here you just can use any color you want I'm just gonna pretty much use uh, a red color to define where it is RGB right okay so I just done it RGB value I just passed 255 you can pass any value you want I'm just going to stick with this and that's pretty much it so we have the frame that is now updated and the frame is still in RGB so we don't have to convert it back or do anything of that sort only the mask that we have taken taken is actually converted in HSV format and we are using that and finally put it back you know create a buffer create a texture and update it using the blade buffer for the KVMD to update and we are sorted so just uh, run this application once and we'll show you guys where it where it works and sometimes you have multiple cameras make sure to check uh, video capture should have any of these parameters i have now uh, active three cameras active so probably the zero will be my default camera my one will be the camera that you guys are seeing here and the two probably will be the laptop camera so that's how my computer is picking things up so i'll just pass it on to and I'll just run this application right now all right, so I have the application right running here and the camera is right here. And you do see that there's an orange background. So this, this falls under the orange background. But as you see now, I have the ball right here and I'm just throwing it up, I'm throwing it in the camera. And you can find that the color is getting updated, right? See, the ball is getting updated. Well, it's too orangish for me, like it's tracking it, but you can still find that this is not very ideal to see. So I'm just going to quickly change the color of the circle here so that we can understand or see a much better image. Um, just go here and change the color of this. So I'll just probably change it to zero RGB. So this should be fine. This will have blue color. All right, so that is it. Uh, the image is right here. I have the ball in my hand. I'm just gonna throw it up and there you go. You, you are finding it, everything is fitting into our profile. It is able to track my orange that is right here. So I have another color. Let's say I have a, like a green color or I have a blue color they want to track. Uh, make sure that the color of your background is like, it'll inevitably avoid you should try to avoid uh, the background as much as to not match the one that you have in your hand in this example it's an orange ball so that you go just having fun with it you can track the ball wherever it goes and you can do even uh, like a shadowy kind of a follow through of it as well and that's what the cricket ball tracking is doing as at, at the max it's using a bit of physics back in the uh, using a bit of physics but at the same time this is how the ball tracking is done you understand where the ball is going and it's able to track every single moment of it and it's a very good way to understand object identification as well and there's a lot of complex thing that you can do around this as well so that's pretty much it guys uh, that's what i want to show you guys in this video it's been so fun try uh, trying and planning things out with kiwi and as at the same time using OpenCV. I love OpenCV so much and I'm going to be continuing with as many videos as possible in the next upcoming videos. So make sure you stick around, stay subscribed for this channel and I've got a lot of things planned so hopefully you guys will be traveling with me as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, it's Bharat. Peace out. Have a super awesome day.